The game against Romania should be fairly straightforward. You know, we're the biggest player resourced country in the world, we're the wealthiest union in the world. Romania are a developing nation. Yes, they'll be physical, yes, they'll be combative, but ultimately, you know, we should put them to the sword and put them to, you know, and do that well and effectively. I think, you know, Georgia are probably a stronger team than, than Romania. Um, I want to see a real a performance where not just the guys actually go and play some rugby, but actually they enjoy themselves because there's a lot of pressure on this England team. You've seen the press recently about whether they should be going out and all that sort of stuff. You know, you go whenever you go to New Zealand, Australia, you can't win. You're either staying in your hotel and not engaging enough with the populace, or you're you're going out and having beers and you're not focusing enough on your rugby. And it's very hard. You know, as an England team, every every the eyes of the world are really much upon that side. Now I'm not surprised they've gone a lot lot tighter. Um, so I just like to see them go out and enjoy themselves in that performance and actually build some confidence for, for what is there going to be a huge game against Scotland. You compare it to 07 or 03, the team's in a different evolutionary cycle. Every team goes through an evolution, goes through a period of development and then settles down and then really hits its, its peak. And the best sides in the world are all player run. And you look at the South African team, some of the leaders and how mature some of those guys. And that team and core, core players there have been around for years and years. Now, you know, they're still playing with who, who's the first choice players now. Um, that's not an ideal. I think if you fast forwarded three, four years, I think that you'll see England go into the next World Cup as favourites because that team, you know, the Dylan Hartleys, the Ben Fones, the Chris Dashtons, the Courtney Laws, you know, the James Haskells, these guys will be, have been around. Dan Coles will, will be there you know, and actually be settled in that, that unit and actually be a real senior guys in themselves. And I think that that's kind of the key to this team. Yeah, they've got some fantastic individual players. I'm, the one thing I'm not, I'm not wholly um, convinced of yet is how they're trying to play the game. Yeah, and, and that is, um, and what I mean by that is, yeah, what is their tactics? What's their pattern? What's their basic framework? Yeah, I look at that. I'm not entirely convinced that that's clear. Um, but you know they're still winning games, and and what they won't do, they won't lack for any ambition or or, or energy. And uh, particularly when you've got guys like Lewis and Shawsy and people like that there, they'll take the team by the scruff of the neck and take it to the opposition, which is what you want to see.